Well, let's check in on the babies. Here they are, creating havoc. Let's see if we can. I just opened the door to the lower level of the grow out coop, I call it. So they're all very curious, investigating checking things out. What is this new place? Eventually they'll be all running around down there. <laughs> they slowly work their way out. So this is what I call the grow out coop. This is the little coop that I have attached to my fence to my garden. Um, this is usually the summer house we call it. In the summertime, I leave it open and the chickens like to go in and out when it rains, when they just want to get away from Yeti because he can't fit through the little pop door, you know, just to come hang out. They like this bar over here that I put in, this this uh, branch I screwed in there and they like to sit there and just kind of look out, check things out and in safety. So they like that. They I had the chickens in the shed, which is over there. There's a little little area I had but it was getting too small for them uh, and they needed to be able to get some more room to run around so I put them in the up top of this part and closed it off I used a piece of fencing and opened the door so that they'd have airflow put this in the doorway blocked it off move all my junk and I put them in here so this is a nest box. I put their food and water up here and I closed off the rest of it so they knew that up here was their house. So now I just have the fencing on the back door so that they can't get out but they get airflow and they can look out, get sunlight, whatnot. And I took the fencing off this door and I opened, there's another door, I don't know if you can see it, but way over on the other end, same side on the left, is another door with a ramp, and that's where they can go in and out if they want, or they can fly in and out through this door here. So they're checking it out, they're interested, but now that they know that up here, hopefully, is where they go to sleep, they will come up here at night and roost, and I can close them up and they'll be safe. And then in the daytime, I can open up the bottom and they can run around. Now I put in, it wasn't there when we got this, but I put in a pop door right there. Um, and we'll go around the other side and take a look at it. But I put that in so that I could create a bigger outside area for them. So let's go around and take a look at that. All right, don't mind all the shavings all over the ground. I cleaned out the little coop before I put the littles in it and put fresh stuff in there. So I got some on the ground, but that's okay. It'll blow away. But anyway, this is the little pop door and it slides up and down just with a wire. It's a little um, metal, metal sign, nothing fancy. Just to block that off from the other chickens and predators and I take these pieces of wood just kind of tuck them in there so that it can't get forced open and then the chickens can run around inside there 
without um, being bugged by the big chickens and they can hang out and peck around and get used to it. So this is the wire I have on the back door. It's just a piece of wire and I've got some screws in it and I just stick the wire in so that they can't get out. And uh, they're too little to really try and get out. They don't want to, I don't think. And it keeps them, the big chickens, from flying up in there and trying to get at them. They can see each other, but they can't, the big chickens can't hurt them and scare them and do all that kind of thing. So on the back of this coop, this is where the pop door is. I have fencing already there that I had blocked off for my um, uh, sunflowers and all that over there so the chickens wouldn't get into that while they were growing. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, five stakes here. And what I'm gonna do is use the back of the fence for the garden and make a makeshift run area after a few days of them getting used to this coop. Um, they haven't done, they haven't uh, gone down yet. This is just new today, me opening the door so they could go down there and they haven't even been down there yet. They're still investigating, they're very cautious. Scaredy cat, little animals, and they don't like new stuff, so it takes them a while to get used to things. But they're so cute. Here's Miss Thang over here wondering what's going on. She was just inside there sitting, hanging out, and I kind of booted her out so I could open it up for the littles, so she's not super happy about it. But anyway, so there's my roll of wire and my posts, and I'm just gonna, I'll hook it around here and make kind of a run area. I did one of these last year to show when I got my turkeys and my black hopper morans, and I will link a link up in the corner to that video on how to integrate my chickens together. So that's gonna be the start once I get the pen out here on the ground so they can peck the grass and the dirt. That'll be the start of them uh, learning to hang out with the bigger chickens. That's how I integrate and get them used to each other. The littles will get bigger and the big ones will get used to them and be like, oh, okay, so you've been here for a while. Okay, I'll pick on you, but not as bad, I hope. So that's how I do it. This is right now, the summer house is turned into the grow out pen. Um, and then once they're big enough and can fend for themselves, they can come out and run around with the bigs. And if they want to, they can go back in here or they can go into the big coop over here. It's all in whatever they want to do. You got one down in the bottom, don't we? And see how interested she is. See, once she gets used to them, she won't be so interested. Right now, I think she's just mad because they're in her, her little summer house hangout spot. So, they really like going in here and hanging out. And I've thought of getting rid of this coop, but it really does work out well for this and for the chickens to just go in and hang out, the big chickens. We've had a couple people ask what these covers are on the chickens. They're called hen saddles and they're elastics on either side and they go around the chickens wings and they cover up their back from losing feathers. You could use them I suppose for when they molt and or from rooster damage from when they mount them if they're one of his their favorites. They will mount them a lot and just break and crack their feathers and they'll end up being bald and it really hurts them too they get sunburned if their skin is showing and it hurts when they get on them and they don't have feathers to protect them so this girl here has got a hen saddle on she's had one on since spring and uh, i'm hoping i can take that off pretty soon i have another chicken that has that on. This is an Easter egger. So this girl in the box is my other girl with a hen saddle. 
She's a wine dot, gold laced. I have three little babies that are the silver lace, so they'll be the black and white. She's like the gold and, white and black. So she's in the nest box, so we'll leave her alone, but that's the other girl with the hen saddle on. Nobody's really heavily molting right now, except for my mama chicken. We called her Patches, because she looked like she was pieces and parts of, um, there she is right there. She looks like she's pieces and parts of all the other chickens put together, the leftovers. But um, she was the mama and she is molting heavily. She is molting heavily. And probably because she was broody. There's another picture of YJ. He's a big boy. He's sweet, just like his dad right now. So hopefully he stays that way just like his dad. Here comes the girls. Oop. No names for the girls yet. Get that water and food downstairs for them now. They're happy. Happy little peepers. They are flying around in there. Crazy little buggers. So before winter, they'll all be in the other coop, in the big coop with all the other chickens. But as for now, this gives them some room. And then after a little while, I'll, like I said, open up that pop door way in the back and have it fenced off and they'll be able to go out on the grass out there and do that. And then after that, they should be pretty well big enough to mingle in with the other chickens and they can either go in here or they can go in the big coop. I had a batch, I want to say it was the Easter egg or batch that I had that um, put themselves in the big coop all by themselves. They went in with the other chickens and they just learned to go in by themselves. And I didn't have to carry them in or set them on a roost or do any of that stuff. So that's pretty good. So please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.